Hello everyone, this is Brandon B207. Here today to do a quick review of Transformers Encore number 05 Ironhide. Um just want to give out a a real quick shout out to Mike Tcon from TFW 2005 because this is actually who I purchased it from. And I want to give you your props there, man. I appreciate it. I got a fantastic deal from you. Well worth it. Really good figure. Um, now, I cracked them open earlier just so I can do this review so I can see how to transform and everything else. Because I never owned a G1 Ironhide. I always wanted one, but never did. Anyway, here's this box. And I tend to... I really dig the Encore series. Um... A little bit more so than the reissues. I do like the reissues, don't get me wrong. I love the reissues. But with the Encores, they tend to come with painted on tampiographs instead of stickers. Like this would normally be a sticker you'd have to apply. But on this one, it's already painted on. Which is pretty cool. Now let's go already open them up. Now he comes with this little iron hide, little punch out that you can put on there to make him look more like his G1 character um, which I really plan on using that I ordered the heads for him and Ratchet I'm just waiting for them to come in in the mail here and he does have instructions and he does have some stickers to apply which at one point or later date I will apply them and of course he comes with a card Ironhide card here. No hit. Um, now let me throw this back in the box. And you really don't need the instructions to transform this guy. This guy is super simple to to transform here. I mean, he is just super easy to transform. Um, he comes with his little plastic tray insert here and let's get this open. I already opened it one side like I say. Um, this comes covered with another little plastic cover. Let's get this open and off here. Let's get old iron hide out of here. And he is just like his G1 self. Except only better because he's brand new. <coughs> And there you have them. Rubber tires, metal bumper, metal feet. That's a really cool little figure. <coughs> um, he's neat. If you can get him for <coughs> maybe around 30, 40 bucks shipped, I'd pick him up because I, I think he's worth it. I, probably around 30 bucks would be a real good price because he is a small toy. <coughs> he's not very large at all. Sorry. <coughs> I'm a little bit congested today. I start off by pulling his little cab off, his little back part of the van here. Actually transforms to his little base. But you gotta kinda pull his wheels out before you get too far. Because then you won't be able to pull them out after you open it up. <coughs> so get his little wheels pulled out. Get the front a little wheel out here, ready to go. Let's get the rear wheels out, ready to go. Let's get this little back compartment, which they never use this at all in the cartoon. Never, not once have I ever seen this in the cartoon. And then we got this little deal here. And that's his little, the little rear end, that's like a little base, which is pretty cool, I gotta say. Comes with his own little action set here. His own little play set. <clears throat> now Ironhide himself is super, super simple to transform. Not much to him at all. You start off by pulling his arms out. Um, uh, flip. You can flip his feet down and forward. There, that's his feet. And then you flip this up. And then you kind of rotate his arms around tuck him in just a little bit 
And there you have Iron Hot. Just a really, really simple <sighs> transformer here. <laughs> really simple, really basic transformer. Looks nothing like his G1 cartoon self. Boss from it. Anyway, there's Ironheart. And you got his little mobile base where he can stand behind it and shoot. Whatever, and I thought it showed in one of the scenes on there. But anyway, <coughs> that is Transformers Encore Ironheart. I think when I get the, the heads in, I'll do another real quick review because I also ordered a ratchet. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for him to come in, and then I think I'll I'll do a little comparison video when I get both of them in, so we can see how they look together. But anyway, that's it. He's he's pretty cool, man. If like I say, if you can get him at a decent price. Not some obscene, crazy price. And I'd say, yeah, go ahead, pick him up. You know, he's worth it. Anyway, any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. Thanks for your time.